Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Masaki from State 43 and today we're going to do a retroactive hero guide for the tier 1 heroes. Um, this guide is going to be probably tailored more towards the newer players, especially if you're starting out in a newer state. Um, because a lot of the, what I'm about to say is more applicable if you're starting new. And the reason is because of my recommendations will be given based on the fact that tier 2, tier 3 and beyond heroes do not exist yet. So all you have access to are tier 1, okay? So let's start talking about the heroes. So first off, when your state starts, um, a lot of these start, heroes start unlocking. Um, how I define what is tier 1 heroes is everything before the age of Jeb, um, and those heroes. So that that's basically be, uh, your tier two hero starts with Jeb, uh, Trish, and that round. So I'm and and of course Wolf. I'm not talking about that tier. I'm talking about everybody before that tier. So let's start off the top of the list with Sarge. Sarge is your first hero, pretty much that you see in the game. Him and Maddie. Um, Sarge is actually a pretty decent hero um, because of his first skill. So Sarge. It, the first skill really just makes him really great for joining rallies. Overall, he's not bad. He's going to be able to hit the cap of 130 uh, plus attack for hunters. Now, that is the cap for the highest you can expect, 130% damage boost for all of the purple heroes. So for, in that respect, he's not too bad. But um, the best marksman uh, would actually go to a different hero uh, you know, at some point later. But still, he can be used for... Uh, joining rallies. I still to this day use him for joining rallies for traps so he's still ap applicable even much much later in the game. Okay next up we're going to talk about Rusty. So Rusty is one of the two blue heroes that you have in the game. Um, honestly not much to say about Rusty. His main purpose will be the gathering of um, metal. Um, aside from that he's a decent early game brawler and honestly he's only the choice you have um, in the early game so that's mainly what his purpose will be next up is ghost um, early game ghost is going to be used for your scout hero until you can get somebody better um, his late game presence is actually more around gather gathering gas as he gets an increase in gathering speed for gas but also his first skill um, which increases the rally um, troop health so he's really great for joining a rally especially as the second rally joiner if you use for example Nicola as your first rally joiner um, for those two purposes I would keep ghost something you can definitely level and use as instructor as well in your hero precinct up next is chef um, chef is a really really good hero um, in general Early game, he's going to be a better brawler to Rusty, so as soon as you can get him as a higher rank than Rusty, I would just replace him over Rusty. Uh, the reason being is that his third attack, uh, third skill allows him to heal over time inside a explore mission. His first skill, the grenade, is actually really, really strong as well because it has a wide range, it has a low cooldown, and I think he uses only one energy. So... And uh, in general, Chef is somebody I also use for boss fights, especially if I need somebody that doesn't stun the boss. So um, yeah, so for all those purposes, Chef is pretty good, and you should definitely keep him and level him up. Eva is arguably the better or the best, like purple hero tier, um, marksman for uh, fighting, like for marching, right, for militaries, um, because. As a uh, as a leader, she has the first skill, same as Sarge, to be able to increase troop damage by twenty five percent. But um, the 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 third skill here, Widow's Bite, increases her trap damage even more. So it's kind of like um, it stacks better. Uh, often you'll find that if you're using uh, Eva, uh, you're going to be able to do, do a little more damage. Uh, in addition, the last thing is that. Uh, she does have this enemy settlement troop health minus about 20%. That's actually a lot more useful than you think it is. This basically really helps when you're attacking. So she's really great for attacking, not necessarily a hero you would use for exploration. Okay, moving on to exploration. Mike is your best, best marksman for, for exploration. Now, the reason is because of uh, what we've talked about. As if you, if you watch any of my event boss guide, um, you'll see that I use Mike pretty much all the time for bosses. And the reason is his third skill, Triple Tap, which triggers when a uh, hero, usually your um, brawler who's in the front line, gets hit. 
So as soon as somebody gets hit, he can then hit three times in great uh, quick succession against the enemy. Uh, along with Sure Shot, basically ignores armor, um, so it does a ton of damage. Um, in general, this hero is really good. Obviously, Flash Grenade is could be useful for a quick stun, um, but I honestly haven't found that to be as useful as certain, some of the other skill, uh, skills that the hero has. Uh, other than that, Mike is also good for food gathering, so don't forget to use him for that. Okay, so moving on to some of the heroes that are used a lot less in the tier one, so I'll kind of move quickly through them. Um, actually, before I do that, I guess we have to cover Travis. Travis is a really, really amazing tier one hero. You really should be unlocking him and getting his frags through the event as much as possible. So the Travis event, you know, during the event, just kill infected. Don't actually worry about uh, doing his journals. Do the journals between events. So the events will come back. So don't worry if you don't collect enough fragments in one event, it will c continue to repeat over time. Um, why is Travis, Travis amazing? Uh, Travis is really amazing because he can reduce um, the amount of stamina you use for infected uh, marches, but also he can also increase the march speed for your marching to infected uh, events. So that's really nice because um, it makes us that he can do intels even faster. He can, of course, also use less stamina. So uh, a great hero to unlock um, early on. Oh, also, he does reduce the stamina used for if explorations as well. So if that matters to you, that's something you can also think about. So Travis, highly recommended, uh, but a little bit harder to unlock early game. All right. So moving on, you got Tony. Um, honestly, Tony is really not nothing too no notable. I don't personally use him because by the time that you have enough fragments naturally to use him, um, you're going to have much better heroes than him anyways. Um, but yeah, so what I use him nowadays is that because my um, my Daryl has to resonate with a marksman and I don't really want to put Mike, Eva or Sarge um, basically on reserve. So what I instead do is I try to level up my Tony so I can resonate with Daryl so I can actually use Daryl. Moving forward, let's talk about Jane. Um, Jane is pretty easy to max, honestly. You're gonna get fragments for Jane from um, from doing Plague Zones. Um, yeah, nothing nothing too amazing about the hero. Ob honestly, she can uh, do the standard buffs. Um, it's nothing, nothing more to say about her, I guess. Okay, next three heroes, um, Inju, Candy, and Basile. Um, all are very similar. Actually, their second and third skills are almost copies of one another. Basically, one will um, increase damage of the troops that they lead. The other one will reduce damage either by increasing defense or reduce damage taken or some form like that. So they're all very similar. The only person I would probably point out is that um, Inju is kind of interesting because she, uh, sorry, Candy, because her first skill grenade costs nothing and it also increases damage now uh, in exploration. Um, what I have not tested is whether she is better by using the grenades than uh, potentially Maddie. I don't know yet, but because Maddie has a nice uh, aspect, because Maddie has a um, has Frank, the dog, to be able to tank more damage but also deal more damage. So I wonder if um, Candy can do something similar with her grenade. So. Uh, something to, to think about potentially being good. Okay. And of course, uh, uh, Basil is kind of interesting because he has a golden gun. But otherwise, I'm not really sure if this hero is really that worth it in general. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, let's move on to the legendaries. I'll just do a quick mention for Ray and Rolex uh, and also for uh, Lucky. So, um, Rain Rolex and Lucky are both very, very good uh, for tier one. However, the, the downside is they do require um, money. So Rain Rolex, as an example, um, for, you know, kind of like fighting, um, they they do they have a really uh, great skill, which is the ability to uh, decrease enemy settlement troop attack or this kind of thing. So usually when you see things like enemy settlement troop attack minus X, that's usually signaling a good hero for attacking. Um, yeah, in general, this is a good hero. The problem, obviously, is that you have to pay money for him. The only way to do it is literally buying the Rain Rolex packs uh, within your VIP 
uh, store. Okay, so if we move forward, let's look at Lucky. Very similar. Um, Lucky is actually pretty cool because she has her first skill, which um, basically reduces damage from the enemy troops. So obviously that's just going to be useful as a hero. All right. Um, moving forward to the other tier one heroes. So the only ones that we haven't talked about is going to be Maddie and also Nicola. So Maddie is actually really good just simply because he, she's one of the only uh, legendary riders um, that you can get. So she can buff rider attack half higher than uh, pretty much any other hero you have available to you in tier one. So, um, you know, it's a hero that you, you know, the top players are definitely going to be spending money to max. She also has the added benefit that um, Frank, her dog, will attack, which helps a lot too because um, Frank basically is useful for exploration as another body. But also if you look at her skills, you know, Frank increases damage, etc. So, you know, normally that's pretty good. The third thing, of course, is... Um, She's actually pretty good for defense. You see this line here, settlement troop attack plus 58%, meaning when she's on defense, um, she will give the settlement a buff for the attack. And then for rallying troop attack, that's when she's actually in a rally or rallying um, you know, some sort of like location. So overall, Maddie and Frank is a really good hero. Um, Nicola, Nicola is also a pretty decent hero, just simply because he will be great uh, for joining rallies because of his first skill increasing troop health by 25%. Um, but beyond that, like he's good for just kind of buffing up the rally troop defense a little bit. So if I could say a dream team for like early game tier one, um, you probably want some somebody like Nicola as a brawler, Maddie as your um, as your uh, uh, rider. And then for your marksman, it would probably be lucky if you, you know, actually spend the money and buy uh, the fragments for her. You you can't literally level her up normally. Like you can't even use, um, you can't even use your, um, you know, like uh, what's it called the, the the fragments that can turn into anything. Um, yeah, you can. The only way to use uh, level up lucky is by purchasing her fragments and doing it that way. Yeah. So that's pretty much all for tier one heroes. I hope you learned something. Um, but you know, if you're not spending money, my recommendation, honestly, a really good team for attack would be um, you have Eva and you have uh, Chef probably for, as the bra brawler. Um, and then for your rider, um, Maddie is actually not too hard to get as a kind of like free to play player or if you don't plan on spending a lot of money, um, she can get her rider stats actually pretty high. So that's something you should definitely check out for. Uh, Maddie might be a good option as well for your for your scout. Okay, um, that's it for tier one. So stay tuned. We're gonna obviously go through and do tier two, tier three, tier four. But those should be a lot shorter uh, videos as well because there's a lot less heroes to cover. Okay, this is Masaki from State Forty Three. Uh, hope you have a great day and stay classy.